Check this out. We have a simple web application on our hands, which asks us to log in. I have already created a test at test.com account whose password is 1234. So let's click login and it asks us to unlock the course. We need to purchase this access. We do actually have an update page or update profile page, which allows us to update information about us, but nothing too serious here. However, if I just run this little script called script.py, it takes a while to run, don't worry, but after a while, it tells me account patched contents should be free. You should just see that the contents are now free after I refresh the page. And today we're going to be talking about a serious web vulnerability on this test website I've shown you so that you can understand what goes wrong, how can you report this to actual websites and earn bounties from it. But please, before we get started, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. It means a lot and you support the channel. Also, check out my courses for Ultimate API Android Hacking course, which is kind of the web hacking area. Also, my Ultimate Book Bounty course, as well as the game hacking course. I also got some very nice discounts for you in the description. Check them out. Now, let's actually go with the video. So the website we actually have in front of us is very simple. It asks us to unlock the course and we actually need to purchase something to actually unlock it, which is very straightforward. We do have an update profile page, which allows us to update something. And if I hit save and refresh, you can see that actually that persists. We have a logout page. That is all very nice. What I like to see though, and I, what, I, what would I like to understand is to see what is going on under the hood. So we can click inspect to view this test page. Remember guys, be ethical and responsible with all of this and you can actually report this to companies and earn a lot of money from it. So let hit refresh and we actually cannot see too many requests happening. We do see an app request, which is just basically me refreshing the page. We do see a tailwind load, which is very much simple and nothing too crazy. We do, however, see an API request to API me, and it contains our email, the ID, the purchase is set to false, which is true. It asks us to unlock the course and the username is test 233. Interesting. So this is just basically an API request, maybe to check whether the purchase is true or false. But if we take a look at the app, that's actually not the case. It just calls a fetch for some reason and nothing interesting here. So, okay, let me actually take a look at the session. Oh, the session actually looks interesting. The session looks like a base 64 string. And if you didn't actually recognize this, then uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's just some intuition. I believe this is a this is a <laughs> base 64 string. So let's go to base 64 decode and let's put it right here and let's click decode. Uh, okay, by the looks of it, this is very simple. This is just my ID, as you can see from here, C4. C4, and this is just the encrypted version of this right over here. And yeah, we could technically maybe log in as a paid user, but to bypass this session mechanism, it's technically hard. We need to understand with, with which algorithm was this encrypted and so on. So it, it can definitely be tough. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, we can definitely focus maybe on the profile page upload or update, whatever you call it, because uh, this can be definitely interesting. I want to see what's going on once I update my profile, because, you know, maybe something is hiding here. After we update, we can see that the preview or the response is only success equals true, so nothing is leaked here. And the payload really looks interesting and really simple. The email is just my email. It sends this and the username, it literally just sends that. Okay, if you know anything about API vulnerabilities, you might already start to sniff sniff something interesting and something fishy happening here. But before we actually get into the vulnerability, if you have some ideas of how all of this could work without cheating, promise me you're not going to cheat, write down your ideas in the comments. I want you to pause and think about how you would approach this target right now or this bug bounty website to find a vulnerability and report it. And guys, how many times I have to tell you, please be responsible. So. Okay, we're gonna be using burp for this, as literally it's very much needed for this to work. So what I've done, I just, I basically hosted it on LAN so that I can actually access it from, from here from burp. So we can actually turn on the Foxy proxy and just hit refresh here and we should basically see everything happening there. But let me also go to burp and let me update my profile or profile page and update the profile so that I can also have that saved. So let me then turn off the Foxy proxy and in burp suit, you can see in the proxy HTTP history, we have everything. So I'm just going to right click a bunch of these and send them to repeater. And this one is API me, and it returns some interesting stuff about us. And this one is the update profile page, which allows us to, for example, now update this to test 22. And if we hit send, it's now obviously test 22. And if I re refresh here, it's test 22. Okay, perfect. So 
where the vulnerability even starts. Well, some of you might already sniff it because you understand how APIs work and how APIs could get broken. But again, on this test and example website, we can do actually a whole lot of stuff. For example, what if we actually just send the purchased along with this? What if what's going on is the website merges these things together? For example, let me actually draw this for you. What if once you send the email and the username to the server, how it actually updates is it merges. Literally on this, on your user data has an email field, has a username field, and instead of just updating it, it just basically merges what it receives. So it received only username and email field. So it will only update username and email field, and it will not touch the ID and it will not touch the purchased, you know, key. So that's the thing. If you just, if the website was operating that way, then we could technically maybe update the purchase to true and get the course for free, right? So one way to test it, and the only way to test it is to just copy this purchase right over here and false, of course, and uh, literally put a comma here and just paste it in, literally just like that. And if we now update this to true, maybe just maybe we get a success true. Okay, we actually get a bad request, snap. Oh, I think I understand. There we go, you actually have to just have this all happen in a single line. So let's click send, oh wow. Maybe the trailing trailing uh, comma was causing problems, and there we go. The trailing comma was causing problems. And the success, all of a sudden, it's true. And if we go back here to app and hit refresh, ah, we can all of a sudden see the courses. How weird is this? And if you're wondering, well, this is not actually that common. Trust me, it is because most of the websites are now using JSON, which is definitely a more modern way of transferring data. And, and they tend to use this sometimes. So sometimes it doesn't actually have to just be a vulnerability where you can uh, update the purchased. You can maybe update your own ID, maybe even doing something worse. If you want to learn more about API hacking before we actually end this video, I will leave some resources in the comments and in the description as well. So you can check them out and learn a bit more about it. Trust me, it's actually very scarier than you think it is. And if you find a vulnerability on an API, on an actual API of an actual website that is currently in production, don't hesitate, don't budge, go report it immediately because you can earn upwards of tens of thousands of dollars because this is considered a high severity if not critical severity depending on the outcome if you actually want to find programs which offer bounties for just the api hacking or api testing you can go to hacker one also link in the description go to asset type go to api and you can hit search and these are the companies which offer bounties upwards of 5k 30k and even more sometimes depending on the vulnerability so everything is in the description check it out and also my course on the android api hacking course also comes covers this a bit so also check it out as well it's going to be in the comments too thank you so much for watching this little video stay safe stay responsible and as always peace